Hello, Zach. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you doing, Frida? I'm fine, thank you. Um, great to meet you and thoroughly enjoying this second series of, of the after party. Now, of course, you're one of the new faces um, this season and you're playing the bridegroom. And he's kind of a strange and solitary sort of character. He reminded me a little bit of Gabe in the office, actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I and guess I there's some overlap. Like, you know how much you enjoy playing these quirky, slightly eccentric characters. Yeah, I'm. I guess I'm sort of drawn to misanthropic weirdos, um, both in my work and in my life. Uh, I yeah, I did. I don't know. I like playing him. It, it. I don't know if people will buy me as a groom but I think they'll easily buy me as a corpse. And so it felt like good casting in that respect. Of course, your your bride is not the only person in your life. You do have another companion that tends to live on your shoulder an awful lot in the show. Um, how do you get on with reptiles generally? Varied, like snake. I saw a rattlesnake the other day in the middle of a path and when I was hiking and it was this just like coil of muscle, like a rope made of muscle. And it was so confident. I found its confidence to be totally oppressive. It like saw us and just kind of slowly moved itself to the side of the path with a kind of fuck you energy that I did not appreciate. Um, so I didn't like that reptile. But Roxana, the Chinese water dragon, was sweet and... Um, and unassuming uh they're very easy to get along with and so i like that reptile a lot and we see you strutting your stuff on the dance floor a bit as well um, yeah. do you do you share your character's feelings about dancing or is it something you're a lot more comfortable with i consider myself a dancer first you know the acting is really just to finance my work as a dancer um a lot of people uh, have described me as a kind of latter-day Twyla Tharp, Martha Graham. Um, some people have said I'm the new generation's Gregory Hines, which I don't agree with, but listen, if they say it, I who am I to protest? You're not going to argue, are you? I can't, you know, if, 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 if the shoe fits. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah, so dance is my chosen medium. I view, yeah, yeah. I feel like my whole life is sort of an unintentional um, dance of small physical catastrophes. Well, the idea behind the show, of course, is that each episode is a different film genre. So I wondered what your favorite type of film was to watch. I like YouTube videos of wake up pranks. I've, but I've liked that for years or news bloopers. I guess that's not strictly speaking a film, but I feel like it's, it's the finest um, that our culture has to offer. Uh, I also like, like I like like um, kind of emo '70s movies, Scarecrow, uh, Kramer versus Kramer, um, Ordinary People, which I guess is the '80s. But uh, yeah, I like those movies, like movies that are like bittersweet um, kitchen sink dramas. Zach, it's been great to talk to you. Thank you, you so too. much for your time. And, <laughs> Thank and, uh, you. Uh, really enjoyed really the show. <laughs> Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Very much. Okay, bye. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, hey you guys. <laughs> hey you guys. <laughs> hey, that's what they all say. Hey you guys.